this staff, uh, at least what I'm capable of, and now it's just a matter of, you know, being consistent uh, in the future. Alternating with Logan these last couple games, is that hard to do to, to stay in the flow of the game? What's that like? Yeah, it's a tough rotation uh, to get in a rhythm. Uh, you know, half and half is a little easier, at least to, I don't know, put a, a few drives together at least. With But, I mean, that sounds like an excuse. So, I mean, there's nothing that you can do other than go out and be ready to play. Did Ackerman talk to you guys before the game and at halftime, kind of in, in Mike's role, and, and what was he like in that? Uh, yeah, briefly got the team together, gave a little rah-rah, and we are good to go. Yeah. You were the starter tonight, Matt, as opposed to Logan. Did you feel like that was you know, sort of a testament to what you had, had done the past few weeks? And then also, you know, at the end of it, did you, how did you feel about overall your performance? Uh, potentially. I don't know. We were, you know, we've been kind of going back and forth this camp. Uh, so uh, read into that what you want. But um, I thought I did some good things. Again, wish I had a few plays that I could have had back tonight. Um, there's Sometimes there's just games like that. Uh, but again, as long as I keep building, I think I'll be in a good place. Obviously, some tough decisions have been made across the roster. I think you've been in that league for a while. How do you handle that? What, what the next couple of days are going to be like for you and maybe for other guys? Yeah, it's, it's up in the air for a lot of guys. Uh, you just got to stay confident in who you are no matter what happens. And I guess believe in yourself at the end of the day. The receivers that you've been working with over the last few weeks and in the game seem to just be really strong and just sort of bring a unique element to the game. What, what's been your impression? Uh, they did a good job, and I think the challenge has been just to learn the timing uh, because this this offense is so timing-based with the routes that we run and, and the steps, and uh, some of them run at different depths. And so just learning their individual characteristics of how they run those routes uh, is a challenge when you're just thrown in right away. So uh, that was one area where I wanted to grow in and uh, to get more comfortable with. I thought um, I was uh, starting to do that. Uh, but again, that just comes with time and, and reps. Seems like Ryan uh, Ryan's situation could stall the, the decision about you and, and Logan and stuff out of your control, but I guess potential for a, a longer week than you would expect. I think you answered that. It's out of my control. I don't I don't know. I guess any more than you guys do. We're just kind of yeah waiting. Good. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. 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 Cam, it seems like every single camp, right, there, there's a point where you know, we'll write you off, but then you'll, you'll have a stretch like, like you've had these last couple of weeks. What, what is it about you that allows you to answer that that call? Uh, yeah, me and the guys were joking. They were like, uh, they can't measure your heart, and that's the thing. Like, I have a big heart. Uh, you can measure my height, my weight, uh, but I'm going to go out there and give it my all regardless of my size. Well, what's the competition been like in that receiving group? Put in front of the other, um, you know, keep going out there and pushing regardless of the circumstances. I think both of your touchdowns from Lord back shoulder throws this preseason, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work, doesn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a lot of work. Um, timing, uh, quarterback trusting you, um, and the quarterback putting in a good spot where either you can get it or no one can. And the final decisions are made, Cam, you know, on this receiver group. What, what do you think the reaction is going to be like from within the group? Is, are you guys a group that's going to be patting each other on the back or things like that? Um, it's definitely hard to say, you know, obviously you're going to have some guys that's down, obviously if they get cut. Um, but the biggest key is, you know, just, just being together as a unit, you know, the guys that are there, um, we built the foundation, you know, built that, that team camaraderie, uh, with one another. So, you know, we, we don't have no decisions over that. Um, we just go out each and every day, um, and make the best of our opportunities. You've talked about the competition, but with, with the talent that's, that's there in that position, how, how tough has it been? And how much have you maybe thought to yourself you know, every day after the occasion? Oh, yeah, it's a talented group. Um, I embrace the competition. Uh, I feel like, you know, I was um, – uh, I've been prepared for this, you know, since since high school. Um, a lot of guys, you know, we compete. Me and my friends, we would compete every day in college. We had guys, you know, we went out there and competed. So, you know, it's just a part of the process. It's part of what you signed up with football. You know, it's going to be competition. Each and every year, it's going to be a guy coming in trying to take your spot. You just have to go out there and solidify yourself. 
Uh, definitely great seeing Stretch out there. Stretch is a great guy, um, knows the game in and out. Um, and when Braves told him that uh, he would be taking over his duties for the night, I know Stretch was happy. And uh, he actually made a, a good play call when he threw the red flag out there on that, uh, on that catch. So uh, kudos to Stretch. <laughs> The, the challenge. I, don't, I don't know who's on. He told himself. <laughs> he saw. He saw it up there on a big jumbo trying. And, and, and I guess one more. I, I guess Mike hadn't been around here all week, but was it still kind of odd to, to look up and down the sideline and him not kind of? Oh, yeah, you know, you are, you always looking to the sideline, uh, looking to hear Coach Ray's voice. You know, he's always animated. Uh, he's hype, and you know, he gets the guys going. So uh, it was definitely different to have him on the sideline. Statement you made tonight? Yeah, I think so. Um, one thing I just tried to give everything I had out there tonight. Um, just try to be out there with the guys and uh, try to lead them down the field and score points. And that was the main thing for me. How different have the last two games been in terms of alternating every couple series or whatever with Matt? Is it harder to get into a rhythm that way? Uh, not necessarily. I think it's just, you know, I'm taking off there and you're getting hit.